Welcome back to Hook Crochet's Beginner Tutorials. Uh, now we're going to um, work on making our very first um, crochet flower. Uh, it's actually an Irish crochet pattern and once you've mastered how to do chain, double crochet and treble, you can do this flower, it's easy. So, we're going to make our loop first and get our thread onto our hook. And we're going to begin straight away. We're going to work six chain. One, two, three, oops, four, five, and six. Into the very first chain, we want to do a slip stitch. So a slip stitch into the very first chain grab that thread on the other side and pull it through the two two chains. So there we've got a ring. Now into our into our ring we're going to work 10 double crochet. So hook goes straight into the ring, not into any stitches, straight into the ring. Grab the thread on the other side, pull it through. Yarn over hook and pull it through again. There's our first double crochet. Nine more. There's a tutorial on how to do double crochets on my page. What are we on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, this time we're not going to do a slip stitch into the beginning. We've got our ring, ten double crochets inside, and into the very first double crochet that we did, we're going to work another double crochet. Oh, I did that one a little tight. So into the double crochet, grab the thread, pull it through once, yarn over a hook and pull it through. There's our first double crochet. Now we're going to begin to form our petals. So we're going to make three chain. One, two, three. Now skip a double crochet and do a double crochet into the next. So we've got a little three chain loop there. That's one of our petals. Let's do that again. Actually, we're going to do it four more times. So three chain, one, two, three. Skip a double crochet and work a double crochet into the next double crochet. Like so. There's two petals. Again, three chain, one, two, three. Skip a double crochet and work a double crochet into the next. Again, one, two, three, skip, double crochet into the next. And the last one is one, two, three chain. And we're not gonna do a double crochet into that double crochet, we're doing a, a slip stitch. So into the very first double crochet on this round, the hook goes in, grab the thread and pull it through those two loops. Slightly hard to see now because they're just small petals, but we've got five three chain loops on our ring. Now into each three chain loop, we're going to work one double crochet. So the hook goes straight into the loop, double crochet, like so. Then a half treble. Half treble is like a treble, but it's yarn over hook into the ring, grab the thread and pull it through once, yarn over hook and pull it through all three loops that were left on the on the hook. And now we've got three trebles, yarn over hook, into the ring, grab the thread, pull it through, yarn over hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over hook, pull it through another two loops. So you can see the difference between a half treble and a treble. 
we've got another treble to do. So yarn over hook, into the loop, grab the thread, pull it through once, yarn over hook. So if this was a half treble, I'd be pulling this through all three loops that are on the hook. But it's we're still doing a treble, I'm going to pull it through two loops. Yarn over hook and pull it through another two loops. Another treble. Now we're going to do another half treble, so yarn over a hook, into the loop, grab the thread on the other side, pull it through once, yarn over a hook, pull it through all three loops, and then a double crochet to finish that petal, like so. So you can see your petal starting to take shape. Um, you, you don't often use half trebles in crochet, it wouldn't be a really common stitch but it's very useful for um, blending shapes for making shapes like this uh, so it's it's like the in, in between stitch that you would need to do if you were going from a double crochet to a treble okay let's work on our next petal so our hook goes straight into the next three chain loop there grab the thread pull it through once yarn over hook and pull it through those two loops there's a double crochet now we've got a half treble. Yarn over a hook, into the, into the loop, grab the thread, pull it through, yarn over a hook, and pull it through all three loops on the hook. Now we've got three treble. Yarn over a hook, into the loop, pull it through, yarn over a hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over a hook, pull it through two loops. There's one treble. Two treble, three treble. Now we've got to work a half treble to blend it down the other side. Pull it through all three loops and finish this petal with a double crochet. There's two petals. See it's starting to take shape now. into the loop, double crochet, half treble, three treble, half treble, and double crochet. And we've got three petals. Two more. Traditionally an Irish crochet roses, uh, they have five or six petals. I love doing five petals, just like odd numbers. Five is my lucky number. and double crochet. Four petals. The last one. Double crochet to finish that side and a slip stitch into the first double crochet and that's it. You could make Christmas decorations, just do a big chain and slip stitch it here at the beginning and you could hang it on a Christmas tree or stick it on a card for somebody or do pretty much anything. But um, you can make these more complicated. You could do it in finer cotton, which I'm going to show you how to do, and you can add layers to it. So just 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, and join in some of some more tutorials where you can learn how to uh, become a little bit more advanced in your crochet. All the best.